Okay, so in the first part of the FET projectile motion lab, we are going to figure out what are our inputs and our outputs. So uh, the inputs are the things that we can actually control, and the outputs are the things that might become affected as we modify the inputs. So we can change the height of the cannon, right? So if we call the ground zero, you know, whatever this distance that the that the um, cannonball or baseball, whatever we're launching, whatever distance it falls, that is going to be the vertical displacement of our object. In this case, if we're defining up as positive and right as positive, that means our our displacement is going to be negative. Okay. So, our ver sorry, our vertical displacement is going to be negative. So that's one of our inputs. Okay, we can also modify how fast we shoot the, the object horizontally. Okay, so our other, our other input is going to be the initial velocity in the x direction. Okay, so that's something that we can modify, our initial horizontal velocity. So that's one of our inputs. Now, because we're launching it horizontally, there is no initial vertical velocity, okay? So our initial vertical velocity is zero. So for all the problems that we're investigating right now, we're gonna launch horizontally. Now, as a result of changing the, the launch height and the launch velocity, the horizontal launch velocity, we and we could end up affecting how far the object travels, okay? So this is our horizontal displacement. That's one of our outputs, okay? The other thing that could be affected is how long it's in the air. So I'll put question marks next to the outputs. So we can modify the height and the initial horizontal launch velocity and as a result, we could end up affecting the time or the horizontal displacement. So if we list these out right here, so our inputs are displacement in the y direction and initial velocity in the x direction. And as a result of modifying those inputs, we could end up affecting time and the horizontal displacement. Okay, notice the subscript x, delta x, x, horizontal displacement, delta x, y, vertical displacement. So there's four possible combinations that we could make here. Right? We could say, if we modify the height, how does it affect the time? Or if we modify the height, how does it affect the horizontal displacement? Okay? The other two combinations we could make are, if we modify the horizontal velocity, how does that affect the time? It's in the air. Or if we more modify the horizontal velocity, how does that affect the displacement, the horizontal displacement? So when it says investigation number one, right, there's four possible combinations. We could say one, two, three, four. So uh, let's go ahead and investigate. Uh, let's actually do investigation number... Mm, number two right here where I'm connecting vertical displacement to time. All right, that, I'm going to use that for my example. So let's clean this up a little bit and we'll do that connection right there. So I'm going to start filling this in. How does changing the vertical displacement by raising the tower affect the amount of time that the object is in the air? So my controlled variable, right, the thing that I can change that I'm not going to change while I collect my data is the initial launch velocity, right, right here. I'm not going to change that. So VI X. So I need a set value that I'm going to use for all of my launches. Uh, I'm going to, I can choose anything I want. I'll just choose 15 meters per second. It's kind of like a middle value on the lab, okay? Now, 
when I'm stating what I think the relationship is, I'm basically saying, how is my input going to affect my output? Okay, input versus output. So my input in this case is uh, delta x, y. So how do I think delta x, y, raising the height is gonna affect the time? Well, I can say, well, if I raise it up higher, all right, if I launch from a higher height, I think that's gonna cause it to be in the air longer. So I might say, well, I know it's an increasing relationship, all right? If I increase, as I increase the height, I think the time's gonna go up. The question is whether or not it's gonna go up in a linear fashion, or if I think it's gonna go up in a curved fashion. I might not be exactly sure. So maybe I'll just make a guess and say linear, okay? So that's my prediction. Your prediction can be anything you want, but I want you to think about it and try to make a logical prediction whether or not the graph should be increasing or decreasing. So generally when you're filling this out, you know, think about whether or not the relationship should go up in a curved way, up in a straight way, or up, up, but in a decreasing fashion in terms of the slope, right? Or, or you might think that it's actually going to decrease, right? As one increases, the other decreases. So that's possible too. All right, and there's different kinds of decreasing graphs as well. So it's just a prediction. Then we're going to actually collect the data to figure out um, what actually happened.